Hello and welcome to Nixie's Notebooks. I am your host and today we are going to do day three of December Ephemera. It's a challenge um, that was created by uh, 49 Dragonflies and Louise Hustle. Um, and basically what it is is um, they give a couple of uh, craft items and some ideas and you have to um, make ephemera out of them. So day one was playing cards and ribbons. Day two which I haven't completed yet, which was yesterday, was, uh, hold on, let me get this all out of here so I can show you what I've done so far. Um, and day three is woodland animals and uh, seeds. So, um, come on out, come on out, it's okay. I oh, won't bite. So, basically what we have going on here is, um, I started this video, and, um, I don't know if I already said this, um, it's early in the morning, and, so, I started this video, and realized it wasn't recording. So, what I've done is I have cut some woodland creatures, little circles, out, um, of... Sorry, that's my hair. We don't want my hair in there. Woodland creatures out of um, an Amazon magazine, uh, the little holiday magazine. So I have one more here. I'm going to cut out that little raccoon. And uh, I wish I could probably just one punch it with it right like this. So this is basically what I did was I took it, I either cut them out of the page or, and, and then I just kind of eyeballed it. So I don't know if you can see that there. I can't. So we have our woodland creatures here, which don't want to come out with a little thing. So we have our woodland creatures here, um, and we've got our snowflakes. And I'm going to do just hole punching, basically. I'm going to fill up the bag, um, and then I am going to make a little topper for the bag, um, just out of paper. Um, and hopefully I'll get, I'm going to decorate that, kind of collage it a little bit and we will go from there. So as I was cutting the stuff, I was putting them in here so that way I don't lose them. So I'm going to sit down and start again. Woohoo! <laughs> all these back in there. I'm just going to pick up some of these, put them in there. So as you can see, I'm just kind of putting them in. I know it's kind of, um, I actually have a, uh, so these are little stickers. I don't know if you can see, they've got some depth to them. So as you can see, they're stickers and I just put a little piece of Christmas color paper on the back. See? And that should give the bag some depth so we don't have everything clinging to the bag. So we'll get those in there first. I'm going to make a couple more of those. Um, this is just a plain old cellophane bag. I bought some of these uh, to ship stuff out in. So um, that's all it is, just a plain old cellophane bag. You can use um, envelopes. If you want to windowed envelopes to do this as well, you just uh, cut the windows out um, and glue them together and then add your seeds. Maybe I'll try that a little bit later. So hold on, my glue is unglued. find one more animal and I'm going to cut them out and put them in there. So I have a lot that are facing that way. Maybe I'll have them all facing that way. That might be a good idea. Everything that I don't want to come forward, please come forward. Ugh. Okay. I'm just going to turn that one that way. This will be like the front of the bag. 
here. Alrighty, so there we go. We got some stuff in there. Do have some glitter. Alright, so these came with a um, nail polish kit that my mom got me years ago. Um, I didn't really do much nail polishing, so sorry, mom, if you're watching. But I'm gonna use them, so yay, they work well. So I will put those in there, but not right at the moment. Um, I am going to make a couple more of those little dot stickers. So here they are, as you can see. I don't know if you can see that very well. You can see the, the bubbles. So I'm going to do um, this punch right here is actually perfect for um, that size. So I'm going to use this. Yeah, we'll use some red. Put four more of these on here. I hope you can see what I'm doing. I know my big fat hands are in the way, so I do apologize for that. There we go. Oops. Got these stickers at the dollar store. Um, so they were relatively inexpensive to purchase. So it kind of worked out well. Okay, that should be enough in there for those. I just want enough to keep the um, bag from just being right on top of it, of each other, like the sides of the bag being right on top of each other. So. There you go. Hmm. All right, let's do a couple more and I wanna make sure they're turned over the other side so that way we can see them. I'm probably going to hole punch some more snowflakes. All right. Let's make sure I can get these in on the right side this time. There we go. Almost. All right. Well, we got the idea. All right. So let's go through and add some of these. Let's just open up. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Well, this is how we're going to have to do it, I think. stars here.
Oh, sorry, I hope that was on camera. Slowly. There we go. Sure, this is going to be a big old mess when I try to do this, so bear with me. I don't normally buy glitter. I know it's bad. I can buy stuff with glitter on it. I know it's really bad for the environment. Microplastics. But everyone likes glitter. Including. Ooh. There's glitter everywhere now. Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're going to let that kind of just ruminate there. Let's go to my phone. Good job. Good job. Okay. My phone slash camera. That will work. We're gonna need some more snowflakes, I think, and some more hole punches. So let's get on that right now. All right, here we go. Do some red snowflakes, maybe. You're probably gonna see glitter flying up everywhere. Maybe some more white snowflakes. What color is this? Well, we'll use this because it'll be white and then it'll be colored on the other side. So we'll do that. This is really turning out to be a hot mess. I'm not so sure. We'll see how it works. Snowflakes. All right. Hmm. Got little pieces of ribbon. coming up in small little triangles. So I've never attempted anything like this before, so do bear with me. I think the glitter might have been a bit much, but it's too late now. Um, I have glitter everywhere. Literally everywhere now. It's all over my phone. And I'm just picking up the last pieces of this. My fingers aren't working today for some reason. Actually worked out pretty cool. I like the way that looks. Let's see. What else can we do? Um, I have some smaller circles, maybe. Let's just do that out of a red, though. I need some green. That's what I need. I'm gonna find some green. Actually, oh, that's white on the back. Oh, you know what? That might work. 
What do I have in here right now? Oh boy. All sorts of little fun stuff. I'm going to do it on this side so I can watch what I'm doing here. So again, I'm just hole punching holes just to add some in here. Make a huge mess. Because that's what I'm good at. There we go. See, we got some green in there now. I'm going to try to escape. Alright, I think that's good enough. I'm going to probably cut it around there. i got to figure out how to seal this up now. I'm going to have to do it with some washi tape. I'm not going to go really crazy with the washi tape because I am going to cover it up with a piece of paper that I will glue down to as well. So, All right, so let's go to right, right there. Okay. All right, now I'm just kind of like getting myself psyched up to cut this. I feel like it's going to be a hot mess. Especially with all the glitter, which is still way up in there. Let's see if we can get the glitter down a little bit better. Come on. sharper blade on here as well. Razor, what are you doing? Come on. That cut relatively smoothly. Nice. I was afraid it wouldn't, but it did. All right. matter because I'm going to cut the edges off anyways, so let's just this is not actually going to be showing, so it is just primarily to keep it closed. work with this one. I like this one. All right, let's put away the glitter before we get any more messes anywhere. Because I've already got a big old mess going on now. Please don't tell the IT guy. He will not like it. All right, here we go. Move this up this way. There we go. 
I'm going to score it down the middle. Figure out what is the middle. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning glitter for the rest of my life. All right. Let's figure out where the middle is, and then we will score it down the middle. And actually, you know what? I'm just going to make up a middle, and then I will cut accordingly. So that will be easier. This is the ruler I wanted to use. This will work better. Mm, there it is. Looking for my bowling folder, so I'm going to use it to score. Great way to get paper to fold real easily, especially when you only have a little bit to work with. Do have a little bit left over? That's okay. This will be the front. Be around the edges. I'll use my new one. Uh, let's see how this works. I'm going to take this off. This is going to drive me nuts. I can't see. All right, we're going to use the old one. I guess I can't see that one. I'm going to do a... I'm just going to do a small, little rounded edge there. Another small, little rounded edge there. I'm going to keep it just like that. Okay, I'm back. I printed out some, it's, I have a black and white printer, so it's very basic, very simple. Um, and I printed out these. I'm gonna cut these and I'm gonna glue them down on here. And we're gonna do some more uh, collaging and stuff. I'm not gonna do too, too much because I don't want it to get overwhelming, but yeah, let's see what we got going on here. I think I'm gonna pull out my favorite washi tape. Yes, my favorite. Doesn't stick the greatest, but I love it. Let's use Elmer's glue though. Which one's the bigger side? That's okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place this first and then I will kind of lift it up. It's this one's very easy to lift up. I'm going to place it down first. No, come on, go straight. Just play with me. Be right. That sounded awful. Okay. Cooperate, I think, was the word I was looking for there. Cooperate with me. Play with me. I don't know what I was thinking there. All right. do is I'm just going to go right along there, right along there. Uh, am I in the video? Probably not fully, so I apologize for that. It's like my biggest problem. All right, so there we go. Oops, let's get that off there. We don't you know what? I can tuck it in, and maybe that's what I'll do just to secure the ends. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, normally I wouldn't, I just cut the edges off, but because it's going to go on the inside, and hopefully no one opens this package for real life, because that would be a big old mess, uh, we're just going to glue these down onto the inside just for extra security. A little bit of extra security. There we go. Right. So do the back of the ingredients. 
put this on some parchment paper, so oh, please say this fits. Oh, I think it will. I think it will. Yeah, barely. Okay. I did it on parchment paper. Well, I sort of like the parchment paper. Just on the back of that. So it kind of looks oldish. animals don't spread out in here very well and I've already sealed it so I can't probably should have added them in each separately instead of all at once so we are going to do a little bit we're going to perform a little bit of surgery on that we're going to make sure those get a little bit separated so we can see all the little animals in there and they're not clumped up into one big clump so i'm gonna do that first okay my desk isn't very long so putting things on here like this make it very difficult so here we go There we go. He's peasy. Okay, so I'll put that one over there. Move this one over here. That one right there. Just so you can see the different woodland animals. Let's move some of that to the front though. You know what? Let's do it this way. A little dude right there. That looks a little bit better. You still have all the seeds in the back. You can shake it up as much as you want, but I think that'll work a little bit better. Maybe some of them should go towards the back. Okay, there we go. Alrighty. Let's, let's tape this down again. Let's tape this puppy down. Get this done. It's my old thing. I don't need that anymore. Pretty sure. What, what happens to that washi tape? Oh, one of my cats stole it. I'm going to be so mad. It's an old one, and you can see it's starting to kind of disintegrate just a little bit. Doesn't have to be perfect. Unfortunately, you gotta use washi tape up. You can't let it sit. You can't save it really. It just doesn't work. Because um, it just starts to kind of disintegrate on the roll there. I mean, if you use it, it's not gonna disintegrate in your projects, but it's just because of the glue and the stickiness and the, the tape and stuff, it, it does start to kind of eat through. And it just kind of goes bad I guess would be the best word for it so. oh yeah there we go that's yeah, got a good mixture there I like that better okay I feel better about that now There's a little OCD there for a moment now let's before I do December 4th I'm really gonna have to clean off my desk and finish December 2nd which what was December 2nd Summer's, oh, paint sample and stars. So I'm still working on that one. Kind of started it and just, I don't know. I got to fix some things on it. So what I did was I just, um, you know, made it look like a, you know, like you, when you see ingredients on a um, when you see ingredients on like a cereal box or any sort of food, I just did that. That'd be kind of cute to put on the back. out. I'm going to put that down right there. Looks good. Let's get some, let's get some glue on this puppy. And this paper I actually got really cheap. 
um, it was on sale in Staples, like really cheap on sale. Like I think it was 99 cents and there's like 50 pages. No, it wasn't 99 cents, $1.99, $1.99. It was really cheap. Anyways, I was like, I saw it, I was like, wow, I'm getting myself a package of those. I wish I'd actually picked up two. I should have probably picked up two. Well, probably not because I got so much paper in my house. My poor husband's probably like, no more paper. Well, I know he's like, no more paper because he tells me that. No more paper. You don't need anything more. And then he goes out and he feeds my habit too. If he sees something I might like, he'll grab it. Ooh, make sure we're on the page there. There we go. That looks nice and neat. Here we go. Let's see if I have any like little stickers I can maybe put like in the corner there. We'll have to see. Let's see what I got in the old stash. Alright. Next one is the holiday cheer seeds. And so yeah, this is pretty easy. Like I said, you can do this with a windowed envelope. Um, all you need is some little bit of hole punches. You don't even need a hole punch. You can just like um, cut, like you know how I cut the ribbon and stuff? You can just do that with paper too. Cut little triangles. You don't really need glitter. Probably suggest against the glitter because that didn't turn out as well as I thought it would. So, but oh, I did that wrong. Okay, that's all right. We'll work with it. We'll work with it. Should have cut off the smaller piece first. That would have been easier. But I wasn't paying attention. I was talking. No, this isn't even on the video. I am so sorry. Oh my gosh. I apologize like 50 times to you guys. Ugh. All right. edges of the, this if I can get it in there. I'm going to do the small one though so it should be fine. too much more to this. I really like the way it looks. Um, I'm going to glue it onto the bag sort of, but I'm also going to staple it just because uh, I don't necessarily trust stick to that. Yes, you are. Even if I had to put... Mm, Alright, let's put a little fabric tack on there. It'll probably help it. I'll stick down. So we use fabric tack um, just because it's a different type of surface there. Sorry. It'll probably help it stick down a little bit better on the fat side. Less is more with fabric tack. Even though I do like to put a lot, less is definitely more with fabric tack. There we go. And I probably will use... What do I do with my holiday cheer seeds? Okay, so I'm probably just going to glue it down there like that. Okay. Make sure I'm doing this on the camera. I 
Well, so like I said, I'm also going to staple it down, but I just want to wanna be extra secure. go. Oh my gosh, my razor cat's coming back up here again. She has been on me all week. can't come over here right now. No, Razor. Oh, sorry, guys. Okay, I'm just going to staple it. There we go. We're just going to put another staple over here just to make sure. And you know what? To make it look like you can buy it at a store, I'm going to pop a little hole in the top right there. Here's my hole punch. It's not a good one. Where's the bigger one? It's about halfway, right? Probably not. There we go. And you know what? We're going to put some ribbon in there just to kind of tie this off. Make it all look really pretty. Pretty, pretty. And I think that matches perfectly. It does. I'm just going to do a simple knot. I, re I do reuse a lot of my ribbon scraps, so no worries. Get out of the ribbons. Cats love the ribbons. I'll cut those on an angle. And here we go. So this is our Christmas seed pack. And you just stick this on a little journal, there's a little happy.